Thank you for watching videos by FamilyTravelPhotos.com. In this episode, I'll review the camera settings for the Unique Q500 4K and the Blade Chroma 4K. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly your Q500 quadcopter. This episode applies specifically to the Q500 4K and the Blade Chroma 4K quadcopters, both of which use the Seago 3 camera and the SD10 Plus transmitter. If you fly a Q500 or Q500 Plus, you can send in your camera and steady grip to Unique and purchase the Seago 3 and new steady grip for a discounted price. The new camera's improvements are worth every penny. Let's get started with Episode 8, Camera Settings. Our first step is to make sure that you have the right camera selected in your transmitter. If your screen looks like this with camera settings buttons on screen, you're all set. If it looks like this with no camera buttons, tap on the screen and your camera settings buttons should appear. If you want to hide all the buttons for maximum screen size, double tap on the screen. Double tap again and all the buttons come back. If that didn't work, you may have the wrong camera selected on your transmitter. Choose Flight Settings and accept the warning message. Select Camera Select and look at the list. There's a choice for Seago 3 and Seago 3 Pro. Choose Seago 3 Pro and back out to your normal screen. You should now see the camera buttons. Now, let's start with choosing the basic photo and video settings from the settings menu. Click the gear settings icon in the lower right corner of your display and hit OK at the warning message to bring up the video settings menu. Let's choose the first option, video settings. This menu allows you to select from a wide range of resolutions and frame rates. These range from 4096 by 2160 pixels at 24 frames per second down to 1920 by 1080 or 1080p resolution at frame rates from 24 to 120 frames per second. Select the settings you want and hit the back button to return to your screen. You'll now see the new video resolution displayed on screen. Lots of resolutions and frame rates. What should you choose? If you want to produce slow motion video, you should shoot at 1920 by 1080 resolution at 60 or 120 frames per second. If you plan to crop, cut, color correct, or do any other editing, I encourage you to shoot at 3840 by 2160 with the proper frame rate for your location. This setting gives you the most information resulting in the best quality image. If you shoot at ultra high def and do nothing more than render it down to 1080p, your video quality will still be better than if you shoot at 1080p in the first place. Even better, if you shoot at ultra high def, you can crop your video clips, effectively creating the ability to zoom in on your video. The next choice on the settings menu is the audio switch. Click this and you can choose whether or not your Seago 3 will record sound. Typically you would leave this off, but you can turn it on for when you put your camera on the steady grip. Now why would you leave this off during flights? Do you really want to listen to this? Next, Photo Mode allows you to pick whether your photos will be saved in JPEG or DNG format. JPEG files can be edited, but you can still share them with anyone just as they are. DNG files give you even greater editing capabilities. However, you must convert them to JPEG or PNG format before you can post or share them to others. Image Style is the next option you have. This option allows you to pick different levels of color saturation and contrast. You have four choices. 
Natural provides some increase to the color saturation to capture what is closest to a natural perspective on the subject. Gorgeous pumps up the vibrance of your colors. In some cases, this may result in an overly colorful, saturated image, but generally speaking, it delivers video that has the wow look that most people enjoy. Raw is just that. No saturation, minimal contrast. The video looks very flat and lifeless. It gives you a basic, unedited source file which provides the best starting point for color correction. If you own a GoPro and have shot with the ProTune setting, you'll understand what RAW looks like and what it does. Finally, there's a night setting for those times when you want to fly at night. In my video description below, you'll find examples of 4K video shot in each of the image styles. Feel free to download them and see how each one differs as they record the same scene. Back to the video settings menu. You can choose the last option to restore your camera to its factory defaults. Closing the settings menu, you'll find a video photo toggle switch right above the gear icon. If you're planning to shoot video, you should leave the video toggle highlighted. You can also shoot stills with the video highlighted. Those stills will be sized at whatever resolution you've chosen for your video. If you switch the icon to camera, any photos you take will be at the 3992 by 2992 resolution. That means it has more pixels than any photos you shoot with the video toggle selected. Notice that when the camera setting is toggled, the screen looks different, with black bars along the sides of the display. Those are your choices for camera settings. Other than image style, none of them are intended to give you creative control of the images themselves. To do that, we go to the left side of your screen for more settings. This concludes Episode 8 of my video series for unique Q500 owners. My next episode will cover the creative control buttons on the left side of the transmitter, which allow you to manage your white balance and exposure compensation. I hope you found this video to be helpful. I've posted other videos that are linked below. Be sure to click those links to learn more about flying your drone. It's easy for you to support my channel by hitting the like button below. It's free and it improves my video's rankings. It also helps my rankings if you subscribe and you'll be notified when I release more videos in the future. Got any questions or ideas for future videos? Your feedback in the comments section below is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.